Well, we kept it uh, pretty short. Basically, uh, three topics uh, for this morning. Uh, we review uh, first a bit about the system so that you can put everything in the correct perspective. Then we will review uh, uh, the, the benefits, the overview of the system, so how it is, uh, how the configuration is uh, established and what we analyze and what the report will bring you as an operator or as an owner. We have uh, developed an, uh, a system which will be installed on board for propulsion uh, equipment uh, with uh, about 14 sensors which monitor vibrations which can occur from inside of course or from outside. Hydraulic pressures for pitching or steering of thrusters. Uh, lubrication oil, tem oil temperatures lubrication all contamination like particles even particles up from six micrometers lubrication all water saturation that means that even the the individual oil uh, water molecules can be monitored in the oil so before free oil um, occurs we can even see it the system parameters like pitching and steering in order to operate the vessel uh, will be monitored torsion vibration will be monitored in order to check the load at high frequencies the dynamic behavior of the vessel is monitored and the nautical information those individual parameters do not make this system special what makes it special that we can merge this data and analyze it which values become high at what point of time and that provides the real insight and provides the intelligence of the system uh, a part a part of the intelligence is on board but the point is not working with an advisory monitor the advisory monitor is installed in installed on board so it gives you an alarm when a value is high. It also gives you an advice what to do. So it's not only telling you if the pitching uh, pressure is high, but also that you have to slow down on your pitching or you have to slow down on your steering angle. The idea behind this, behind this is to save uh, uh, your operation time in order to uh, prevent a, a catastrophic failure. Well, the benefits, there are some open doors and perhaps when you don't have an issue, it is, it is, uh, you don't always think about it, but when you have an issue, let's say Murphy will remember you of those issues, for sure. So let's, uh, let's just go through it. Um, it's, it is all about surprises. Surprises are nice when it's a good surprise. If it's a bad surprise, nobody likes it. So you need to know your machinery condition always good to know of course it provides a better risk assessment when you see that there's something going on what shall I do continue operation or just shut off one uh, one unit shall I reduce the load on it or not shall I go to dry dock or not uh, it provides therefore a solid base for your operational decisions what shall you do it enables dynamic maintenance schedules so not only uh, you go to, uh, to a predictive maintenance schedule, but you can see what's going on and what you want to do at what point of time. Faults detected in an early stage. You of course want to avoid uh, uh, that, you, that you will have uh, what the next item is, a consecutive damage. You want to be ahead of your problem. <coughs> Optimize maintenance, logistics and planning. Of course, when you see that something's going on, you can order the parts, you can look for a dry dock, uh, you can look for the, the, the labor, just to make sure that everything is up and running when you want to uh, correct the issue. A periodic internal inspection of thrusters is no longer required. These days we go to dry dock, we open up a lower gearbox, inspect the gears, inspect the bearings as, eh, as good as possible just in a two and a half or five year period 
but this system tells you upfront if there is an issue or not. So for example, DNV already tells us that you don't have to go to dry dock anymore, which of course we could see it as a, a huge benefit. Yeah, the whole idea is to, uh, to reduce the total cost of ownership. That's perhaps, it's pretty low at the bottom, but I think it all comes down to money again. Uh, the whole system will be reviewed by a uh, propulsion expert uh, that's also uh, mandatory by classification if you want to skip the periodic uh, inspections. Now we go to an overview of the system. Here we have, uh, let's say, a standardized modular thruster. Um, the control cabinet, which is already on board. The hardware is already uh, on board for uh, the hydraulic uh, uh, pressures. Uh, the pitch systems is are already on board. That's already there. What is uh, added to the system? Accelerometers on top of the thruster. There's also an option to have them in inside of the thruster. A bit more expensive. Um, sensors for the hydraulic pressures, sensors for the uh, oil water contamination, sensors for the steering pressures. We don't supply the vessel, but it's linked to the nautical information. There's one cabinet required to, to gather all these uh, parameters linked to an advisory monitor. It is not mandatory to have it, but uh, you, can, you can install it in your uh, thruster control room on the bridge or wherever you want to install it. Uh, it is also linked to the network of the, um, of the vessel, so you can, you can view the status everywhere you want to see it. And then on a daily basis we have to submit the data onshore to get the real trend values and to get a report from the propulsion expert. I think we have Shaden. So basically what you will get as hardware for the system are those components, with exception of the satellite. We have the same configuration for a controllable pitch propeller, which is not that common in the offshore industry, so I think it's perhaps better to skip it. The only, well, perhaps the only difference is a torque sensor, a high frequency torque sensor, which is not as, uh, standardized on the thruster configuration. So the good thing about the monitor, you know what is going on. You will get an alarm, but not only an alarm with a red light, it tells you what to do, which is even better, I would say. And it tells you as soon as possible that something is going on. You can see the trend values on uh, the screen. Uh, perhaps uh, nice to tell that in the Reliant uh, Arena, we have a demonstrator of this system, so if you have more time after the presentation or tomorrow, we can show you a bit more how it works and we can play around with some uh, parameters. And you get hopefully an even better feeling about what it's really doing on board. Yeah, the data is analyzed, what I uh, already mentioned, uh, by propulsion expert, normally uh, vibrations are uh, analyzed by a vibration expert. But that's one thing. It's even, I would say, better if you can do both. If it's a propulsion expert together with a vibration expert, and if that's the same person, then you can really review what is going on and even give better advices on, on the data you have reviewed. Again, perhaps an open door, but good to visualize it. <coughs> we have on the vertical uh, X, we have a fault timeline. 
basically if you don't if you don't know what's going on you just continue you continue till a fatal error occurs and then you have significant downtime if you have PCMS for personal condition monitoring service you will see in time that there is an issue of course you will have downtime eh? if it's a fatal error you have to do something about it no doubt about it but you can schedule it you know what to do you know you know when you have to uh, order the spare parts you know have to do you know when you have to look for uh, for a dock schedule for a dry dock perhaps for cranes labor divers whatever is required to do the job so therefore we also visualize the, the downtime shorter than when it's unforeseen that's one aspect one advantage of the system the other advantage is that with a periodic inspection you inspect something which is good which you don't see that's good it's working and everything is fine with PCMS you know that already that's good so you don't stop the operation but you just continue like I said an open door but I think it's good to visualize the philosophy behind this behind this system and associated service yeah, we have uh, developed the PCMS for steerable thrusters transfer thrusters uh, the controllable pitch propellers y you've seen uh, those but also for uh, electric pots, water jets and gearboxes basically the, the system and the service can be applied on everything well hopefully when each and every vessel in the world has PCMS and uh, we don't have to use the sense anywhere use them we have a problem because we could see it coming this is my last slide. Feel free to ask uh, questions. Perhaps we can already address them uh, now, and otherwise, uh, perhaps we can give you a bit more insight uh, when also showing the demonstrator. repeat the question the, the question is and correct me if I'm wrong if there is a fault uh, on the advisory monitor will it automatically connect to the service engineer uh, and let's say the, the expert in the office uh, that's not uh, the case but on a daily basis and uh, a data package will be submitted to the uh, engineer he will see that there was a high value on a certain condition and he will revert back to that high value I will uh, repeat the question again. Uh, the question is if the data is continuously uh, submitted, let's say onshore. Uh, no, uh, it is a, a manual action that has to be done once a day. So there's n also to minimize the, the, the data. Uh, the system also makes um, uh, a deviation about, let's say, the standard values and the high values already on board in order to minimize the data packages. So only, let's say, the interesting values will be submitted onshore. Uh, the question is, uh, who, who will look after that the, the values are rising? The, the system will, will see that the values are rising and will give an advice accordingly. So we take the temperature in this case, so when the temperature is rising, the moment when there are, let's say, temperatures going up and down, even if in four case when it's four times going up, it's already a signal that there's something going on. Even, that, even the average value is the same, but it is, let's say, a statist statistic uh, uh, fact that there is an indication going on. And the system on board already sees it, and also the engineer on shore we'll see it
the user input goes as far as the oh sorry I will repeat the question is there the question is is there a possibility for the operator to to review the system on board and to see uh, at certain condition what was going on freely translated um, the answer is that the advisory monitors is uh, time related the trends monitored and visualized on the uh, monitor is something the operator can see. What he will get, he will get a monthly report. In the monthly report, he will get uh, on all conditions uh, related to weather, related to where he's sailing, to the sea stage, uh, to the, uh, the parameters we are monitoring, and advice on where the system is deviating from the average. And that will be reported. It is not the report is not the base for the analysis, but it's an output document just for the operator or the owner to see what the real condition of his uh, equipment is. So, sorry. That's the idea. But if you want to have it twice a month, that's also possible. But we think with once a month, everything is covered. Uh, the question is, have we done, let's say, a business case on how much money it will save for the customer uh, when having such a system? Of course, that's highly depending on the type of vessel, if it's an offshore supply vessel, a drilling rig of an operator, but we do assist in these, these business cases for the operator, yes. Any more questions, or would you prefer to look at the demonstrator later on? Yeah. Well, thank you uh, for uh, spending your time with us, and I hope to see you later uh, on at the demonstrator. <laughs>